Welcome back everyone. Today I want to talk about my experience with Dell and the XPS 13900 I purchased earlier this year. I figured many of you might be thinking about buying the new XPS 15 and I thought now would be a good time to share my experience. Because when you buy a laptop from Dell or Apple, you're not just buying a laptop but also the brand and the support that comes with it. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and please subscribe to see more videos. Thank you. About four months ago, I decided the XPS 13 Developer Edition was the laptop for me. Every day I would visit the Dell website seeing if it was available. And on the day it became available, I bought one in frost white. I couldn't wait to see it. Couldn't wait to have it. So I signed up for the Dell Rewards program, which offered expedited shipping. It took two weeks to arrive, and it arrived in great condition. No problems there. However, before it had arrived, I checked the Dell website, and I noticed a 17% discount or coupon. The laptop I had just ordered yet to arrive was already $260 cheaper. Obviously, this was upsetting, but I saw that Dell had a 30-day price match guarantee. I thought, well, this, this should be easy. I was well under the 30 days. It hadn't even been 14 days. And it was the official Dell website we were comparing. So, no, nothing to contest. However, upon reading the fine prints, their guarantee excludes coupons. I contacted Dell anyway, pointing to the price difference on their website and my order. For whatever reason, they couldn't or wouldn't see this price on their own website. They kept requesting screenshots. A request they sent from a no reply email with no contact information. After several weeks of phone tag, and after 30 days had passed since my order, they offered me about half the difference. To their credit, that's more than I was expecting. I was expecting nothing after reading their fine print. However, you have to ask, what's the point of a 30-day price match guarantee when the official Dell website is the only way to order one of these laptops and they use coupons to avoid changing the base price and escape the guarantee? If I had to say, it's purely a marketing gimmick. So a warning to all of you, you might as well ignore that guarantee because it's worthless. Now for my second reason why you might want to wait on buying your Dell XPS 15 or any laptop from Dell. Not all options are available now. I promise you more options will become available. For example, I don't see the Frost White or the Developer Edition as options for the XPS 15 currently, US website. After I had owned the XPS 13 for about a month, I saw several more options appear on the website. For example, there was the option for 32 gigabytes of memory, or several more SSD options. When I placed my order, the only SSD option was 256 gigabytes. Since then, there's now a 512, a 1 terabyte, and 2 terabyte options. I'm not sure which option I would have chosen if these were available, but I definitely would have picked at least 512. No question. Dell, you lost $50 from me by not having these options on your release. Knowing what I know now, I would have definitely waited to make my purchase. For the same amount I paid, I could have had the same laptop with twice as much memory and four times as much storage. Of course, this is the nature of computers and technology. The longer you wait, the cheaper it becomes because there's always something faster, better coming next. However, to say that a laptop that I haven't had even for one day is now worth $260 less is crazy. And to use a loophole in your price match guarantee to avoid paying the difference is really shady. As for the laptop itself, it's a fine piece of technology. I have very little to complain about it. As I have the developer edition though, running Ubuntu, I can say Dell support is not the same standard as 
for their Windows laptops. When contacting Dell support about the availability of the fingerprint reader on Ubuntu, they could offer me no additional information, just citing the same sentence on their product page about it coming mid-2020. It's now June. Still no update. The other time I contacted Dell support, I asked about support of Ubuntu 2004, as the developer edition comes with 1804. It's already two years old. Dell support thought 2004 hadn't been released yet, which I corrected them, stating that it was released in April, a month ago. That's what the 04 in 2004 stands for. I asked if they ever plan on supporting 2004. They couldn't say. However, when browsing Dell's Ubuntu repositories, I can find folders with 2004. Apparently, Dell support knows less about their own products than their customers. That concludes my public service announcement. Again, I like the laptop. You can see that from my other videos. I just thought it would be useful to share my experience with all of you, for it may save you a couple hundred dollars by waiting, or you might find more features that become available soon. Until next time, take care.